Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Now, we started yesterday to talk about God loves you. Now, that's the topic of what we're talking about. And I'm, I'm going to be bringing out aspects that we should begin to look at so that we can begin to not just experience, but then enjoy the love of God for your life praise god so i remember yesterday i was explaining some things to you but before we go there can we call for that daily bread join me right now in faith release your faith because god loves you and he wants to give you your daily bread hallelujah join me now say father i demand now my daily bread it's coming to me right now in Jesus name. Amen. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. All right. Now we, we, we began to look at God at that topic. God loves you. And I explained to you that because of that love to show the extent to which God loves you, he gave his only begotten son. And then I explained to you yesterday about love being responsibility. And, and then we began to bring it home. So husbands and fathers showing love to their wives, showing love to their children. It's got to be the same love that God has that we show. Now someone say, how can we say that we are not gods? Hey, we, I can never. We are. God has given us the ability to love just like him. See that now? Say how? Now, if you're a born-again believer, the Bible says the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Do you know what that means? It means the love that is being generated in my heart comes from the Spirit of God. Now, that just gets you into the secret of how God loves. How does God love? It is the same Holy Spirit that is shedding the love in Him. <laughs> God is love and He's giving us His Spirit and His Spirit is the Spirit of love. Some, some people... Now, I want to bring something to your attention. You remember Jesus said something in John chapter 10 and verse 10. He said, the thief doesn't come but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Then he said of himself, said, but I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. He says, this is why I came. Now, I want you to take note of this. Let's read it. James, uh, John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that day. Now, notice, he, didn't say, now, he was talking to his disciples. He didn't say, I am come that you may have life and you may have it in abundance. He says, I am come that they might have life and they might have life. Not just having it, but having it more abundantly that means to the full having life to the full praise god who's the day that jesus was referring to he's talking about the ones the thief came for also he's talking about the world praise god yes yes he came to give the whole world life not just life life abundantly he didn't just come to select his a few and say, look, yeah, the ones I'm going to show love to. No, 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 no. He came to give the world life. The devil come, has come to destroy the world. But Jesus said, I came to give them life. Meaning, the good life, it's very possible for everybody. That's why you've got to believe in what Jesus has done. You've got to believe in what he did for you. He didn't do it on his own accord. God instructed him to do it. So the love began with the father. 
And Jesus himself accepted to love us like the Father. You know why he could do that? Because it is the same love of the Father that was at work in him. Now today, it is the same love that is in the Father that was, on, that was in Jesus that is at work in us. How? By the Holy Spirit. This is the reason we should not love less than he loved us. This is the reason we grow in love. This is the reason we grow in the manifestation of love. We don't, we don't diminish in love. Ah, I used to love that person, but hey, come on now. Imagine Jesus talking like that. I used to love that fellow, but you know what? Since he did something he did to me, I stopped loving him. No! As long as God is alive, I cannot stop loving him anybody praise God now loving people doesn't mean throwing yourself to be you know to be used as a doormat by them you understand what I'm talking about no that's not love love carries authority now now you need to understand this because idea people have of love is oh buying flowers and saying all the nice things I want biscuit take I want this take I want this take. Oh, he loves me so much. Anything I want, he gives to me. But you know that's not how God functions. Praise <laughs> God. That's what I was sharing with you yesterday. There are times it seemed God had failed. The only people that stayed there for long are people who don't go to him. They get angry. They get offended. And they walk away from him. But the people who actually say, but God, well, this is not how you are. What happened? By the time the Lord brings his word to you, realize he had your best interest at heart. And that's why we don't run away from him. Even though it looks like he's silent, even though it looks like he's, he's he, where is God? You know, there are times we feel that way, praise God. When he shows up, we realize he was there all the while. Number two, he was thinking deeply about us. Man, God started thinking about us before the world began. He started thinking about us before he created the heavens and the earth. He started thinking about us. Think about it. He, we, he had us in mind. We've been on his mind for so long that we had to be born. Praise God. Oh, now, now you are here. Haina Kasaya. He's been thinking of you before Adam was formed. And now you are here. Think of the joy that he has in his heart for you. That's why I don't understand when you begin to think of yourself. Now look, forget it. God has forsaken me. How can he forsake you? How? How? Just how? The sacrifice is given for you so much that he cannot forsake you. It will be a terrible, he will be a terrible God to forget you. Not terrible in his responsibility, but terrible in his ideas and his decisions. How do you forget one whom you've invested so much? Thank you, Lord Jesus. God loves you. Have you thought about it? So the reason people misbehave most times is because they don't know. They, they've not settled it in their heart that God loves them. The reason people act the way they do, number one, is fear. Majorly because of fear. Because they feel, if I, if I let it be, I'll be dealt with. But love, now that's the thing. The love that we carry in our hearts, we do not generate it by ourselves. We respond to the love that the Holy Spirit is generating in us. You see that? So when it comes to dealing with finances, you, I remember yesterday I was talking to you about your family, your wife, your children. When it comes to, because sometimes those are the things, oh, why, why, why do you say we need that? We don't need that. We need, you know, no, no, no. Why is talking like that? Because you are afraid that your money will finish. But then when love being generated by the Holy Spirit in your heart is speaking, he will tell you, you know what? I can give you. I can supply that need. I can meet that thing. You can do it. And then you go and say, Lord, I can do it. Go ahead. And then you believe in him. You believe in him. 
Then you see, you, you, your face was so strong before you know, what kind of thing is it? But then before you go, by the time you get to the Lord, he begins to say, but I can do it for you. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Smile is restored back on your face. You come out smiling, everybody's wondering, what happened? You know what that thing we're talking about? Let's go on and do it. Woo! Everybody's excited. Now that's what Jesus meant when he says, I am come that they might have life and they might have it in abundance. Don't give people the impression that life is so difficult. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Life is not so difficult. People have just been disobedient to lead life. That's the truth. Things are tough. Not because they are tough in themselves. You have not followed the right channel. If you will allow God to help you. God speaking through Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. He says, if you are willing and you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Simple. We quote the scripture. And we declare, Father, you say we'll eat the good of the land. Hey, are you willing? Willing to do what? I see now, I talked about love being responsibility. So, he's giving you so much ability in your heart. But will you be willing to show that ability? Will you be willing to respond with that ability? Sometimes the challenges we face is within our hearts. We don't want to take up challenges. So we want everything to just be okay, easy, normal, as we have designed it. We are not willing to rise to a challenge because we feel, oh, this thing can destroy me. Hey, you have been given the ability of God in your heart. God gave you that ability when he gave you the Holy Spirit. I'm talking to you as a believer. If you are not a believer, you're listening to me, get saved first. Get saved. Your salvation opens you up so the influence of the Spirit of God in your life. And when that influence comes upon, now God has created this thing. He's given the ability to the whole world. A wise man will come to him and say, Lord, I want this ability. I want to live life like you. It's available for the whole world. So what God gave is not just Jesus dying. You see, if you stop at Jesus dying, you miss a lot. The death of Jesus opened the door for a great deal, praise God, of inheritances that we have been receiving. Now, he, the, the death of Jesus opened the door for the Holy Ghost to be given to us. Now the Holy Ghost has been given to us. The question is, what are you doing with him? How well, how far have you gone in your dealings with the Holy Spirit? The love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. The love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Think about it. Think about it. That is love, brothers and sisters. And this same love, see, why am I tying this up to your response to to, to people because you will never understand the depth of God's love for you until you begin to by faith take actions that show you are releasing this same measure of love to the people around you. It is when you begin to do that you begin to see the flow you begin to see the man because because God loves us miraculously so we also love miraculously there are times things we want to do as an act of love but then fear comes in front of us what if what if what if I do this thing and and then I I, I don't get you know your family for example Jesus said he has come that you may have life 
and have it in abundance. That should sink in your mind. Everything in you that tells you that you should not express abundant life. Everything that tells you that you should, you should um, limit how you live. You should be, um, you know what I'm talking about. Everything that tells you uh, uh, that you should suffer is not godly. It's not of God. You must reject that thought immediately. And it, it comes in every manner, you know, you know, Listen, 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 listen. When was the last time there was real laughter in your home? Laughter, everybody laughing, enjoying them. Sometimes you've got to be deliberate with this thing. Now, it's not enough to sit and say, God has given me life in abundance. I live life in abundance. Can you demonstrate it? Begin to demonstrate. It's in the demonstrating it that you will begin to see miracles. Some of you are waiting for the miracles to come so that you would... No, it's in the demonstrating. That's why Jesus said to Thomas, blessed are those who have not seen yet believe. Because their believing will propel them to begin to take actions. Make up your mind that you are going to enjoy life. Everybody around you is going to enjoy life. Your family is going to enjoy life because you're the head of the family. Now you open the doors for God to come in. Yes, you do. How do you do that? By making up your mind that is in this my home, it will be exactly how God loves us in heaven. That's exactly what's going to be transmitted here. Now you are the channel. So you must open your gate wide. If you shut the gate, there is nothing God can do. So you're going to raise a children who, who, who are going to have a wrong perspective of God. But guess what? One day they are going to grow up and they will hear the truth about God. And they will look at you and say, Daddy didn't tell us the truth about God. You, want to be that kind. you, don't, you don't want to be that kind of a father. I would love to be the kind of father that my children will grow up and, and say, Wow, Daddy really prepared us. To, but he didn't tell us everything about God. But man, he set us up. To enjoy him as he is, praise God. So I'm not going to misrepresent God before them. I'm not going to misrepresent God because of my small mind. I would rather enlarge my mind and believe God for all of him. So I can give them the right picture of who he really is. Same thing with everyone around you. What did Jesus say? You shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses. Witnesses. Not just carrying Bible to go preach everywhere. Witnesses. When people meet you, they should have faith in love. When people meet you, they should have faith that God can be this good. Praise God. Oh, yes. What do you say about God? What do you say? I have told you many times on this broadcast, you say not with your mouth, you say with your heart and you speak with your mouth. They say charity begins at home. Let the love of God begin in your home. Think about it. How much of God's love is seen in your home? It starts from your heart. Then from your heart, it spreads to your home. It spreads to your wife. It spreads to your children. It spreads to everyone around you. Then it begins to grow until the whole world will see. Praise God. Praise God. That's what God wants. He didn't love us that we hide his love. He loved us so that we can reflect. He said, you shall be witnesses. Witnesses. Don't believe you'll die, Papa. Don't believe things will not work out for you. Don't believe that you are cursed. Who cursed you? Believe in his love. Rise up and begin to demonstrate that love around you and then keep increasing and increasing until the whole world will see that love. Praise God, my time is up. Hey, thank you, Jesus. 
Father, I pray that everyone listening and watching will truly open their hearts right now and that your love will truly be found in them and they will have courage to begin to demonstrate your love in their hearts and to everyone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.